scientific instruments. As usual problem with railways, not enough volunteers. Compressor back there. Okay. <laughs> wow. Do you want to go past Ryan? No, I'm just filming around you. <laughs> Good old boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just move that back just a little bit. One of the prototypes too far. But the first coach is lovely. There it is, look. Uh, it's in the HST set. Mm. That's cool, isn't it? I like that. Yeah. That's pretty amazing, <laughs> isn't it? free to give you a quick, if you want a quick demonstration on what the coach did. Oh, we'll talk you through it. Ooh. Pretty well original in the sense that we've got the. Oh, are you, Jack? alright? Yeah, yeah, good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun. Oh, wow, um, look at it. Most of these sort of coaches that uh, come out of departmental usage uh, get converted back to passenger carrying so it can earn some money for the railway. But it was decided that we'd try and keep this as an exhibition piece yeah. in its own right. heritage, it's a bit of, railway testing, yeah. bit of um, a bit of history of railway testing, which you wouldn't normally know had gone on because yeah. it was out of the public gaze really and you would have no idea. Well, I <laughs> Yeah, but it's something they don't really do anymore. Slip no, testing it. Yeah. You're right, you're right. It's, it's sneaky and... Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. That's all right. Well, well, I appreciate pleasure. it. Thank yeah. You. How are you? All right. Oh, look, the good stuff. Oh, look, I'm, I'm, I've, got yes, real, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I want some. I want some. <laughs> have you been on Tesco or two before? No, I haven't, You've mate. Not. No, I haven't. Uh, what was you explaining about about this? Because this looks awesome. Well, it's quite. Yeah, it's quite basic, really. It's a, a timer and a distance recorder. Oh, okay. Do you know this is for testing the accuracy or the efficiency of brakes on freight wagons? Oh, okay. They have a, a 47, which we've got connected at that end. Test coach. Perfect timing. The flyer. Easy yeah. to work. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, and the vehicle under test at the back. Um, they take this uh, setup up to a piece of track near Crewe, which was flat and straight. Um, and they could get occupation of it for a couple of days. Um, and they do a series of runs, starting at say 30 miles an hour, um, at which point they would release the vehicle under test and at the same time apply its brakes. So the loco and coach would carry on at 30 miles an hour in that direction mm -hmm. and hopefully the wagon would start slowing down okay. until it came to a stop. So they measure the distance from when you released it to when it came to a stop mm -hmm. and the time it took. And from all those figures, at different speeds, they can create a graph of the braking efficiency of that new wagon, the prototype wagon. Mm, see if the brakes are good enough. Yeah, and then they could say to the manufacturer, yeah, make a batch of 50 or 100 of them, knowing that the brakes are going to work. Oh, brilliant. As simple as that. It's a really basic measurement, yeah. if you like. But the instrumentation was really to um, capture the speed and the distance. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, because it'd be it's pretty hard isn't it, if you're standing line side and trying to measure well, it by you, hand. Yeah, you need, you need yeah. to be quite accurate about it <laughs> yeah. to make it, you know. Which is why they picked up his a bit of track that was flat and straight and not. And, that, that's and they wouldn't do these tests on a day like today. It was chucking it down in rain. Yeah, because the tracks would be slippy, or, or, or even in the autumn yeah. where you got the, the autumn debris. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, good stuff. But the coupling that uh, they use is a special coupling. It's a slip coupling. Um, it's really quite a simple thing. There's a slightly smaller version of it. So that'll be hanging on the back of the coach, and that would normally uh, connect onto the hook on the wagon that you're testing. So at the point at which you uh, want to actually release the wagon, you pull the string. I mean, it literally is a piece of wire rope. It is as simple as that. Okay, yeah, to release it. And it removes, or it, it pulls this, this block rearwards and allows the jaws to open and the wagon to be released. Yeah. Brilliant. Really basic, but reliable. Works every time. Crack it. I yeah. like that. Well, thank you very much. Ooh. Oh, good. <laughs>